The Story of the Little Pup A farmer had some puppies he needed to sell. He painted a sign advertising the four pups and set about nailing it to a post on the edge of his yard. As he was driving the last nail into the post, he felt a tug on his overalls. He looked down into the eyes of a little boy. Mister, he said, I want to buy one of your puppies. Well, said the farmer as he rubbed the sweat off the back of his neck. These puppies come from fine parents and cost a good deal of money. The boy dropped his head for a moment, then reaching deep into his pocket, he pulled out a handful of change and held it up to the farmer. I've got 39 cents. Is that enough to take a look? Sure, said the farmer. And with that, he let out a whistle. <whistles> Here, Dolly! Out from the doghouse and down the ramp ran Dolly, followed by four little balls of fur. The little boy pressed his face against the chain-link fence. His eyes danced with delight. As the dogs made their way to the fence, the little boy noticed something else stirring inside the doghouse. Slowly, another little ball appeared, this one noticeably smaller. Down the ramp it slid. Then, in a somewhat awkward manner, the little pup began hobbling toward the others, doing its best to catch up. I want that one, the little boy said, pointing to the runt. The farmer knelt down at the boy's side and said, Son, you do not want that puppy. He will never be able to run and play with you like these other dogs would. With that, the little boy stepped back from the fence, reached down, and began rolling up one leg of his trousers. In doing so, he revealed a steel brace running down both sides of his leg, attaching it to a specially made shoe. Looking back up at the farmer, he said, You see, sir, I do not run too well myself, and he will need someone who understands. With tears in his eyes, the farmer reached down and picked up the little pup. Holding it carefully, he handed it to the little boy. How much? asked the little boy. No charge, answered the farmer. There is no charge for love. The world is full of people who need someone who understands. Show your friends how much you care. Good stories surprise us. They make us think and feel. They stick in our minds and help us remember ideas and concepts in a way that a PowerPoint crammed with bar graphs never can. So if you want to get notified whenever I upload my next inspiring story, make sure to subscribe to Stories That Inspire and click on that bell icon. And lastly, if you found this video useful, hit that like button and share this video with someone who might find it useful. Thanks for watching and stay blessed.